Welcome to another Sigma Life Hangout. Today we're discussing of the topic of the find of the century of modern history, as I've read some in some places, some sites and some reports. Of course, I'm talking about finding water on Mars. Today we're discussing the subject with the Vice Rector of the European University of Cyprus, an astrophysicist, the most ideal person to talk about this specific topic. What does this mean? Is Marty the Martian going to come out and say hello anytime soon? Is there life in Mars? Um, well, it's, this is a very, certainly a very important discovery. Um, humanity has been interested in the question of whether there is water on Mars for, ma for many decades. And uh, it seems now, we already knew that there was uh, water in solid form in the polar caps. But now um, we certainly it le looks as though uh, there is water in liquid form. Um, and we know this from these observations from NASA, which show uh, streaks of um, stains, basically, of um, flowing water on the surface. Um, I think it's great news, um, but I think it's too early just to say that um, there's also life on, um, in this water. But some say water is life. Certainly, the water is the prerequisite for life, as we know it, because uh, we cannot think of life without water. But um, we certainly have to follow this up and um, make, uh, send um, probes, uh, more probes to Mars, and certainly people who can actually test the uh, water and uh, may, uh, scientists, especially, not just astronauts, mm -hmm. who biologists and uh, planetary scientists, who are going to be able to um, tell us for sure that there is uh, life, even in microbial form, in this uh, water. So why is it so significant that the water is in liquid form and not in solid form? Because as you said, we've known for years that they had um, ice on the, on the caps of the planet. Yes, I think it's because uh, in solid form, you are not sure if you are going to have life in solid form. Whereas if it's in liquid form, uh, there is a much better probability, chance, that uh, you have life as well. Great this probability, chance, you, you, yes. you choose your words very carefully. Yes, because I'm a scientist. You <laughs> see. And when can we put the certainly in the mix, in the equation? How long will it take to verify or say that there's no life in Mars after all? Well, I mean, I don't know if NASA has something um, some more data which is going to show that um, in, the, in the spectra. Because what they did, they took um, spectra of um, this water, this, uh, inf they took, um, they analyzed the information. I don't know if they have, um, they can tell from the spectra that in addition to salts, they have, there is life. Uh, because mm -hmm. there's probably a way to tell. But uh, to be sure, you obviously need to send are we putting the, the answers itself. in a perspective of, let's say, a few decades or even longer than that? I think it's certainly going to happen in the next one or two decades, yes, even uh, earlier, depending on how the technology is going to be developed. And um, because obviously you have to send the people for, who are going to travel for uh, two or three years, perhaps, to go to Mars and come back, you need to make sure that... Um, the mission is going to succeed. And it doesn't have to be just one mission because if they bring back, back that data, they need to check it and then go back and check it again. Maybe even have different forms of experiment, not just get samples of the liquid and say it's actual water and there's this microbial life in or not. Maybe they'll try to cultivate stuff on the planets because there's a whole rhetoric right now that maybe we should find other planets to inhibit, maybe other, other planets are already inhibited by other life forms. Yes, certainly it's going to be a complicated process, but um, the exciting thing is that um, by, with this, this discovery, you make sure that um, liquid water in planets which are in the right location mm -hmm. around the star have uh, liquid water, because we have water on Earth, we can have on Mars, so this opens up the whole possibility that uh, water uh, exists in lots of other planets if they are in the right location. And this uh, is um, great news for people who are interested in, uh, everybody's interested in life around other planets. Uh, I mean, Hopkins said that we need to realize that if we're going to keep living as, as people, if humanity is going to survive, they need to 
look at other planets as well. Earth will not always be enough or there. Yes, if you, I mean, uh, I think in the same way as uh, people were interested in uh, colonizing uh, uh, the Earth, mm -hmm. the, all the continents on the Earth, inevitably, um, if uh, humanity doesn't manage to destroy itself, <laughs> It's going to find a way to colonize the nearby universe. Um, it's, um, it's much more difficult because the distances are much bigger. The nearest star is four light years away. But um, in due time, I'm, I'm very confident that we are going to be able to colonize um, the universe. And it will be very exciting if we can find life in the, in the universe. Because it will be very disappointing to travel for... <laughs> thousands of years and find uh, that is not just uh, It would have been deserts. my next question. As a person and as a scientist, I don't know if it's the same answer or a different one, do you believe that there's life out there in other planets? I think I, I certainly believe that um, there is life, other form of life out there. But the big question is to what extent it has developed. If it's because an intelligent form of life like not humans. Even, not even, you can, I'm not sure if you, it's certain that you have animals, mm -hmm. because it may... Um, we don't understand how life developed uh, on Earth. I think for a very significant part of the history of the Earth, uh, life was in the form of... Um, was in the form of uh, not complicated... Um, organisms. Organisms. So, um, we don't understand, uh, but... Uh, I think once, um, I'm sure that there's life there in some form, um, because there's so many planets. We know that now for sure that there are planets that are in the right uh, location, they, they, are, they are like Earth, so it will be very unlikely if, if there is no Talking life. Talking about the right location, you mean in, in, uh, in reference to the Sun, the distance from yes, the Sun? Yes, they have to be in the so-called habitable zone, mm -hmm. at, the sa at some distance from the Sun. You see, um, of the star, because stars come in different luminosity, so you cannot tell for sure it's going to be, you know, be uh, different stars have a different radius where you have the habitable zone. But we, we think that it has to be, the star has, to, the planet has to be in the right location so that you can have this precious resource, the, the liquid water. Would you go to Mars? Well, um, <laughs> I think it will be very exciting. Yes, I like traveling. Um, I like traveling around the Earth. Uh, if I had the chance I would go, but they will send somebody younger <laughs> probably, or uh, more um, somebody who will be able to um, uh, contribute more to a mission like this probably. Than I'm just, I'm just an ast astrophysicist. Uh, well, it's not just for some of us that it's really exciting in itself. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for your time and your Pleasure. insight. Pleasure. And thank you for watching.